Have you ever thought about aliens? I mean, have you ever thought about the possibility that we aren't alone? What if Earth is just one of many planets in the universe and intelligent life is out there somewhere? Just like how on Earth are we supposed to know? Before you dismiss this as an absurd question, I highly recommend you watch this video. It might change your perspective. Over the past years, NASA has heavily invested into researching extraterrestrial life. They've sent thousands of satellites into space, built scientific labs on the moon, and drafted thousands of groundbreaking reports about what it would be like to discover alien life. So watch this video for those who are ready for some mind-blowing information about extraterrestrials. Number 5 will definitely shock you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Tess has been in space for just a few days, but scientists have already found out where life could be possible. In the last couple of years, NASA's Kepler telescope has discovered thousands of worlds that are more or less Earth-sized. And by using artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze their brightness, project scientists were able to find out which ones had atmospheres. TESS has identified 10 new planets that orbit within the habitable zone of their stars. That is, the range of distances where liquid water might exist on the surface. The TESS Telescope the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS Telescope, is the successor to NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and will search for planets outside our solar system. TESS searches for exoplanets in the solar neighborhood, especially those orbiting bright, nearby stars that are already known to have transiting planets and that can be followed up with ground-based and space-based telescopes. The principal goal of the TESS mission is to detect small planets with bright host stars in the solar neighborhood so that the detailed characterization of the planets and their atmospheres can be performed. The telescope, which is the accumulation of decades of work and billions of dollars, scans the entire sky in northern and southern hemispheres, looking for small worlds that orbit stars other than our Sun. It was launched on March 20th and began working immediately. Among the 10,000 candidates it has identified so far are planets that are warmer than Mercury. They sit in the Goldilocks zone, where liquid water can exist on their surfaces. Within that zone, a planet's atmosphere's temperatures must not be too cold. One of the planets found by TESS is HD 209458b. The planet is 169 light years away and orbits a star that is smaller and cooler than our Sun. The planet is believed to have an atmosphere that contains water vapor and carbon dioxide. The planet is believed to be a super-Earth. What do scientists mean by habitable zone? There are several factors that are considered when determining an atmosphere is habitable. Number 1. Water vapor content. The most basic requirement is that a planet has water vapor in its air. If there is an aqueous, water-containing component, it is assumed that it would be liquid or solid water. In addition, the temperature on the planet also affects water in a significant way. At the lower end of the habitable zone, less than 100 Kelvin, or 60 degrees Fahrenheit above absolute zero, water vapor condenses into liquid drops, like on Earth. At temperatures far beyond this range, it would form ice. Number 2 gas temperature. Another factor to consider is the temperature of the atmosphere's gas composition. The upper limit for water vapor is about 100 Kelvin or 60 degrees Fahrenheit, still well below absolute zero. An air warmer than 35 Kelvin, about minus 186 degrees Fahrenheit, contains more gases that are more likely to absorb heat and not release it as easily as oxygen and nitrogen do on Earth. Number 3. Sulfur content. At the upper end of the habitable zone, water vapor condenses into liquid drops. It would form ice at temperatures above 100 Kelvin and 60 degrees Fahrenheit. But at extremely high temperatures, the sulfur content of the planet's atmosphere becomes significant. Super-Earths and a ring world without an atmosphere. In addition to being tempered enough to support liquid water, 
Test candidates must also be rocky planets. Too much gas and they would be Neptune-like, too little and they'll be Jupiter-like. And if there are rings around the planet, astronomers infer that there is very little in their atmosphere. Rings don't tend to form around gaseous worlds. All these factors have been taken into account by planetary scientists. And while it still may be too soon to call out which specific planet TESS will find a habitable atmosphere on, the fact that this was even possible demonstrates the power of all sky surveys like TESS. This video illustrates a list below, illustrates the habitable planets and their characteristics. Number 1. Kepler 7b This planet orbits around its star in a relatively tight orbit, making it less than the distance where liquid water could be stable. However, the planet is not too close to its star. It's just close enough that water could exist on its surface. In addition, Kepler 7b is much closer to the star than Neptune is to the Sun. Neptune is about 30 times further from the Sun than Kepler b is. It would be an excellent candidate for detailed analysis with a spectroscope and other tools, which would tell us more about the planet's atmosphere and composition. Kepler 7b is the smallest exoplanet ever found orbiting a star at its discovery. It is marked as the first extrasolar planet to have cloud mapped, which revealed a bright spot on the planet. In addition, it showed moon-like phases when orbiting its star, of which scientists could only theorize about before this discovery. Number 2. Kepler 186f Kepler 186f is considered to be an Earth-like planet, since it is the right distance from its star to have liquid water on its surface. The exoplanet has no oceans. In addition, it's in a habitable zone that contains the light elements hydrogen and helium but not the heavier elements like oxygen and carbon. And because no liquid water was detected on Kepler 186F's surface, this means that any water on the planet could be frozen or concentrated in a small number of locations like hot springs or deep lakes. In addition, Kepler 186F is a super-Earth, that is, it's about 3.5 times the mass of the Earth. However, it orbits its star at just one-third the distance where liquid water could be stable, which means it's still a great candidate for detailed analysis with a spectroscope and other tools that would tell us more about this exoplanet's atmosphere and composition. Number 3. Kepler 438b This planet orbits in a tidal lock with its star, meaning that the same side of the planet always faces the star because they are in a relatively tight orbit just outside where liquid water could be stable. Kepler 438b is also the closest exoplanet known to have a magnetic field, which increases its chances of sustaining life. If a planet like Kepler 438b had an atmosphere, it would include carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and other volatiles like water vapor and methane, all key ingredients for life as we know it. Considering that the mass of Kepler 438b is 2.3 mass of Earth, its gravity would be 30 times that of Earth, making the surface conditions on it relatively more tolerable. Other factors that show Kepler 438b to be habitable are its slightly older star, its proximity to the star, and the small amount of X-ray and extreme ultraviolet radiation that the planet receives. Number 4. Kepler 62f Kepler 62f and Kepler 186f are very similar in many ways. Both are near their star, not too close, not too far away, and both orbit in the so-called habitable zone, which means that they have a good chance of having liquid water on their surface. In addition, both have very long years, almost exactly the same, meaning that life could evolve slowly on both of these worlds. However, Kepler 62f is much colder than its counterpart, Kepler 186's star. Additionally, this planet is outside of the habitable zone of its star, which means it's unlikely to have liquid water on the surface. However, its mass is only 1.6 Earth mass, which means Kepler 62f would have a small surface gravity, meaning liquid water could potentially exist on its surface in shallow oceans or lakes after some modification by geological processes. If a planet like Kepler 62f had an atmosphere, it would most likely include carbon dioxide and other volatiles like water vapor and methane, all key ingredients for life as we know it. In addition, Kepler 62f is a super-Earth. That is, it's about 3.5 times the mass of the Earth. Number 5. Kepler 296f 
This is another super-Earth planet found in its star's habitable zone. However, since it orbits just outside its star's habitable zone, this planet would experience some fairly intense and frequent flares from its parent star. In addition, Kepler-296f is thought to have similar characteristics to the solar system's ice giants Uranus and Neptune. Though slightly smaller, it also has a high likelihood of having a large atmosphere because of its larger size compared with Earth's. Like Kepler-62f, if Kepler-296f had an atmosphere, it would most likely include carbon dioxide and other volatiles like water vapor and methane, all key ingredients for life as we know it. Notably, Kepler-296f has a number of similarities with Earth. One of its similarities is that it's roughly the same length of year, which is about 290 days. Number 6. Kepler-22b this planet orbits in a relatively narrow orbit around its star, giving it the right conditions to be a rocky planet, which is what scientists look for when they analyze exoplanets. It orbits squarely in the so-called habitable zone of its star, meaning that this exoplanet could have liquid water on its surface. In addition, Kepler-22b is likely to be very similar to Jupiter in terms of mass and size, meaning that its surface gravity would be very high and therefore less suitable for life. Kepler-22b is 600 light-years away from the star it orbits, which is about twice the distance and time Earth takes to orbit the Sun. Number 7. Kepler-36b NASA's Kepler telescope discovered this planet in 2009. It has a relatively small size and mass, but is otherwise perfectly Earth-like as far as it goes. It is similar to our planet in terms of climate and rotational speed. It orbits a star similar to the Sun, meaning that it is in its star's habitable zone and could have liquid water on its surface, which is key for life as we know it. Unfortunately, Kepler-36b's orbit is somewhat erratic, meaning that over time the planet will likely move out of the so-called habitable zone and thus become uninhabitable and may exchange an atmosphere with the stellar wind. In addition to all these factors, Kepler-36b makes a complete orbit around its star in 14 days, which is shorter than the time it takes the Earth to orbit the Sun. Number 8. Kepler-442b This planet has a mass and size similar to Earth, making it a great candidate for further analysis to determine whether or not it has an atmosphere and some form of water on its surface. It orbits in a very tight orbit just outside where liquid water could be stable and is located in the star's habitable zone, meaning that this exoplanet could have liquid water on its surface. In addition, Kepler-442b is thought to be similar in terms of atmosphere, with methane and carbon dioxide possibly being present, all key ingredients for life as we know it. Number 9. Kepler-69b This planet is not quite as Earth-like as some of the other planets on this list, but some characteristics still put it high on the list of potentially habitable exoplanets. It is thought to be a rocky planet, very similar in mass and size to the Earth, and it orbits in a very tight orbit inside the so-called habitable zone of its star, meaning that this exoplanet could have liquid water on its surface. In addition, Kepler-69b is likely to be very similar in terms of atmosphere, with methane and carbon dioxide possibly being present, all key ingredients for life as we know it. Number 10. K222b, asteroid TK7. K222b is a small asteroid that orbits in a very close orbit around the star it orbits, possibly very similar to the small rocky planets currently being discovered outside our solar system. It has a mass below 445 me and orbits in an orbit between the orbits of Mars and Earth. It also lies within its star's habitable zone, meaning that it could have potentially liquid water on its surface. The name TK7 comes from the fact that this small planet was originally mistaken for a transiting planet when the Kepler telescope first observed it. Number 11. HD 40307G This exoplanet orbits in a very tight orbit around its star, meaning that it could, in theory, be almost as Earth-like as some of the other exoplanets on the list. 
It has a mass and size similar to Earth, making it a great candidate for further analysis to determine whether or not it has an atmosphere and some form of water on its surface. It orbits squarely in the so-called habitable zone of its star, meaning that this exoplanet could have liquid water on its surface. All of these factors combined put HD 40307G high up on the list of potentially habitable exoplanets, especially considering that this planet is located within our stellar neighborhood, only 42 light years away. The atmospheric conditions on this planet are thought to be similar to those on Earth, and so yet another potential lifelike planet has been added to the list. Number 12. K225b This planet orbits in a very tight orbit around its star, meaning that it could in theory be almost as Earth-like as some of the other exoplanets on the list. It has a mass and size similar to Earth, making it a great candidate for further analysis to determine whether or not it has an atmosphere and some form of water on its surface. It orbits squarely in the so-called habitable zone of its star, meaning that this exoplanet could have liquid water on its surface. All of these factors combined put K225b high up on the list of potentially habitable exoplanets, especially considering that this planet is located within our stellar neighborhood, only 147 light years away. This planet orbits within 3.5 days of its host star and is therefore very close to its star in terms of distance. Conclusion NASA's space telescopes are always looking for new planets, and every time a new planet is discovered, there's hope that it could be an Earth-like planet. While some of these planets are clearly better candidates than others, the fact that we can even find exoplanets in other solar systems makes the chances of finding alien life much higher than ever. What do you think? Do you think we'll find alien life within the next few hundred years? To our esteemed viewers, Thank you for being part of this explorative journey. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this.